Today is the 51st anniversary of Earth Day. The Rhode Island Department of Environmental Management has worked to protect many of the ocean state's beautiful features, including Narragansett Bay. 12 News reporter Rosie Langello spoke with the DEM and joins us now with more on the state of the bay. Rosie? Well, the director of the Department of Environmental Management, Janet Coit, says that the state of the bay is much cleaner than it's been any time in the past 100 years, but there's still a lot of work to be done. The bay, the upper bay, even the urban rivers um, are much cleaner with healthier wildlife and recreation returning to these areas. Coit and her team were out visiting businesses in Rhode Island on Earth Day to commend them for helpful acts in protecting the ocean state. Your willingness to take bold actions to clean up the environment and support local is having a profound positive impact on people's lives. Coit says the biggest remaining work to do is storm runoff. It comes from roads, parking lots, and continues to pollute the quality of the water. A big rainstorm. We close certain areas to shellfishing. We ask people not to recreate in urban rivers because it, it, um, all the pollution runs off into the bay. She says the Narragansett Bay Commission is working on a huge project, which targets the combined sewage overflow problem that happens after rain. It's going forward and will really, really uh, improve um, making the bay safer for public health in particular. So what can you do to help? As basic as picking up your pet's waste, making sure that um, litter doesn't blow out of your recycling barrel. A lot of individual actions that seem small, but cumulatively, they make a huge impact. For more information, you can head to our website, WPRI.com. There is a full 12 on 12 digital original on the state of the bay. Reporting for 12 News, I'm Rosie Langello.